In the vast darkness of space, the Galactic Council convened on the pristine world of Celoria Prime. Representatives from hundreds of species gathered in the Grand Nexus Chamber, their varied forms and languages creating a harmonious cacophony of voices. The Council, a coalition of civilizations spanning the stars, was renowned for its pursuit of knowledge, diplomacy, and peace across the galaxy. On this particular day, the assembled races were abuzz with excitement and trepidation as news spread like wildfire. A human exploration vessel had stumbled upon a relic of ancient power. The HS Athena, a modest human spacecraft on a routine survey mission, had made a discovery that would rock the foundations of the known universe. Captain Serena Hayes stood before the Council, her eyes meeting the gazes of a fractious crowd of alien dignitaries. Her olive skin was tanned from years spent under distant suns, and her piercing blue eyes held the weight of the infinite cosmos behind them. I stand before you today to share a discovery that will forever alter the course of galactic history, Captain Hayes began, her voice steady and resolute. While exploring the uncharted regions of the Perseus Arm, the crew of the HSS Athena unearthed an ancient derelict warship of immense power. Gasps of astonishment rippled through the chamber as a holographic image of the colossal vessel materialized before the Council. Its hull was adorned with intricate designs and shimmering glyphs, a testament to a civilization long lost to the annals of time. The warship exuded an aura of formidable strength, its presence a reminder of a bygone era when empires clashed among the stars. Analysis of the wreckage indicates that this warship belonged to a civilization predating even the founding of the Galactic Council, Captain Hayes continued, her voice tinged with awe. Its technology is beyond anything we have encountered, a testament to the ingenuity and power of those who came before us. The Council erupted into a flurry of discussions and debates, each species grappling with the implications of this newfound relic. Others viewed it as a harbinger of doom, a reminder of the dangers that lurked in the forgotten corners of the galaxy. As the clamor of voices swelled around her, Captain Hayes felt a surge of determination rise within her. The discovery of the ancient warship had thrust humanity into the spotlight, casting them as players on a stage set for empires and civilizations. We, the humans, stand ready to unravel the mysteries of this ancient warship, Captain Hayes declared, her words echoing through the chamber. We will unlock its secrets, harness its power, and ensure that it is wielded for the betterment of all. The galaxy will know that humanity is not to be underestimated. With that proclamation, the fate of the Galactic Council was forever altered. The discovery of the ancient warship would set into motion a series of events that would test the bonds of diplomacy, challenge the boundaries of knowledge, and reveal the true strength of humanity in the face of insurmountable odds. The stage was set for a saga of courage, defiance and triumph that would echo across the stars. A saga that would forever be remembered as humans shock galactic council with ancient warship. As news of the ancient warship spread throughout the galaxy, the galactic council found itself at a crossroads. Representatives from various civilizations clamored for access to the enigmatic vessel, each eager to unravel its mysteries and claim its power for their own. Tensions simmered beneath the veneer of diplomatic decorum, each species calculating their next move in the cosmic game of power and influence. Within the halls of the Nexus Chamber, Captain Serena Hayes and her crew of the HS Athena stood at the center of a whirlwind of activity. Scientists and engineers from diverse worlds had gathered to study the warship, their technologically advanced instruments probing its ancient hull for answers long lost to time. As Captain Hayes observed the bustling scene before her, she couldn't shake the feeling of unease that gnawed at the edges of her consciousness. The warship, dormant for millennia, seemed to exude a silent presence, an echo of a past age when beings of unimaginable power strode among the stars. I don't like this, Captain, voiced Lieutenant Zhang, the chief engineer of the HS Athena, his brow furrowed in concern. The readings we're getting from the warship, they're unlike anything we've ever encountered. It's as if the very fabric of space and time is warped around that vessel. Captain Hayes nodded solemnly, her mind racing with possibilities and uncertainties. The ancient warship held a mystique that both fascinated and frightened her, a relic of a civilization long extinguished, yet poised to reshape the fate of the galaxy once more. As the hours stretched into days, 
the team of scientists made a breakthrough that sent shockwaves through the council. Deep within the core of the warship lay a chamber of pulsing energy, a reservoir of power that defied all known laws of physics. The scientists dubbed it the Genesis Engine, a name that whispered of creation and destruction in equal measure. It's as if this Genesis Engine is the beating heart of the warship, mused Dr. Lenara, a renowned xenoarchaeologist from the Avanti Confederacy. Its energy signatures are off the charts, far beyond anything we've encountered in the galaxy. If we could harness its power, the implications of the Genesis engine's discovery reverberated across the Galactic Council, setting off a proverbial powder keg of ambition and fear. Factions vied for control of the warship, their agendas shrouded in secrecy and treachery. Captain Hayes knew that humanity stood at a precipice, their actions in the coming days poised to shape the course of galactic history for generations to come. We cannot allow the Genesis engine to fall into the wrong hands, Captain Hayes declared, her voice steely with determination. It is up to us, the crew of the HSS Athena, to safeguard this ancient relic and ensure that its power is wielded responsibly. Humanity's reputation as stewards of the stars depends on it. With the fate of the galaxy hanging in the balance, Captain Serena Hayes and her crew prepared to embark on a journey that would test their mettle, forge new alliances, and challenge the very fabric of reality itself. The ancient warship awaited, its secrets poised to be unraveled by those brave enough to face the unknown, a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity in the face of adversity. As the crew of the HSS Athena prepared to delve deeper into the secrets of the ancient warship and its enigmatic Genesis engine, tensions within the Galactic Council reached a boiling point. Rumors swirled like solar flares across the cosmos, whispers of clandestine alliances and covert operations echoing through the corridors of power. Captain Serena Hayes knew that the Genesis engine represented both a boon and a curse, a wellspring of unimaginable power that could either uplift civilizations or shroud the galaxy in darkness. With the weight of responsibility heavy upon her shoulders, she convened a meeting of the Council aboard the Nexus Chamber, determined to chart a course that would safeguard the fragile balance of the stars. We stand on the cusp of a new era, one defined by the discovery of the Genesis engine, Captain Hayes declared, her voice echoing through the hallowed halls of the chamber. It is imperative that we approach this relic with caution and reverence, lest we unleash forces beyond our comprehension. The assembled representatives listened intently, their faces a tapestry of emotions ranging from curiosity to apprehension. The fate of the Genesis engine had become a focal point of galactic politics, each species vying for influence and control over the ancient artifact. We propose a joint task force comprised of representatives from each civilization, Captain Hayes continued, her gaze sweeping across the diverse gathering. Together, we will unlock the mysteries of the Genesis engine, ensuring that its power is wielded for the betterment of all sentient beings. The proposal was met with a mixture of cautious approval and wary skepticism. The idea of cooperation among the fractious races of the Galactic Council seemed both a beacon of hope and a shadow of doubt, a delicate balance that threatened to unravel at the slightest provocation. As the Joint Task Force began their investigations into the Genesis engine, they encountered challenges that defied explanation. Strange anomalies plagued their efforts, disrupting sensors, distorting space-time, and testing the limits of their technology and expertise. It's as if the Genesis engine resists our attempts to understand it, mused Dr. Lenara, her brow furrowed in consternation. It's as if the artifact itself is alive, a sentient entity that guards its secrets with a jealous fervor. Captain Hayes pondered the implications of Dr. Lenara's words, a nagging suspicion gnawing at the edges of her consciousness. The Genesis engine was no mere relic of a bygone era. It was a living entity, a consciousness woven into the fabric of the cosmos, awaiting the touch of those who dared to challenge its power. As the task force delved deeper into the mysteries of the Genesis engine, they found themselves locked in a struggle against forces older than time itself. Shadows stirred in the darkness of space, whispers of ancient civilizations and primordial beings haunting their every step. The crew of the HS Athena stood on the brink of discovery and danger, their resolve tested in the crucible of the unknown. The Genesis engine awaited its true masters, 
its power a double-edged sword that could either illuminate the galaxy with hope or shroud it in despair. The trials of the ancient artifact had only just begun, and the crew of the HSS Athena braced themselves for the challenges that lay ahead, their fate entwined with the destiny of the stars themselves. As the Joint Task Force continued their investigations into the Genesis engine aboard the ancient warship, tensions simmered among the diverse representatives of the Galactic Council. The enigmatic artifact held sway over their thoughts and actions, its power both tantalizing and foreboding, a force that defied comprehension and challenged their very essence. Captain Serena Hayes and her crew of the HSS Athena toiled relentlessly, their days melding into nights as they sought to unlock the secrets of the Genesis engine. Each new discovery brought them closer to the heart of the artifact, yet further from the truth that eluded their grasp like a wisp of stardust. We're on the verge of a breakthrough, remarked Lieutenant Zhang, his eyes alight with a mix of anticipation and trepidation. The Genesis engine's energy emissions have stabilized, as if responding to our inquiries. It's almost as if it's guiding us towards something, or someone. Captain Hayes pondered Lieutenant Zhang's words, a sense of unease settling in the pit of her stomach. The Genesis engine's sentience was becoming increasingly apparent, its ancient consciousness reaching out across the void of space and time to beckon those who dared to tread within its realm. As the crew delved deeper into the core of the warship, they came upon a chamber bathed in pulsing light, an ethereal sanctuary that pulsed with the heartbeat of the Genesis engine itself. Symbols and glyphs danced across the walls in a mesmerizing display, their meaning shrouded in mystery, yet resonating with a sense of cosmic significance. This is it, Dr. Lenara whispered, her voice barely above a breath. The heart of the Genesis engine, the nexus of its power and purpose. We stand on the threshold of knowledge beyond our wildest dreams. The crew gathered around the chamber, a sense of reverence and wonder suffusing the air as they beheld the awe-inspiring spectacle before them. The Genesis engine hummed with energy, its luminescent core pulsating with a rhythm that seemed to echo the universe itself. And then, as if in response to their presence, the Genesis engine's light intensified, swirling and coalescing into a spectral figure that materialized before them, a being of pure energy and consciousness, radiating a sense of ancient wisdom and unfathomable power. I am the guardian of the Genesis engine, spoke the apparition, its voice a symphony of echoes that reverberated through the chamber. You have unlocked the heart of the artifact, and now you stand on the threshold of choice. The fate of the galaxy lies in your hands. The crew of the HSS Athena watched in awe and trepidation as the Guardian's words washed over them, their minds grappling with the enormity of the task set before them. The Genesis engine was not merely a source of power, it was a force of balance and creation, a custodian of cosmic harmony that demanded respect and reverence. We must tread carefully, Captain Hayes declared, her voice steady with resolve. The Genesis engine is not ours to command, but to safeguard and uphold. We must prove ourselves worthy of its gifts, lest we succumb to the hubris of those who came before us. With the Guardian as their guide, the crew of the HSS Athena embarked on a journey of discovery and self-discovery, their destinies intertwined with the ancient artifact that held the key to the galaxy's salvation or its downfall. The unveiling of the Genesis engine marked a turning point in the saga of humanity among the stars, a tale of courage, sacrifice and transcendence that would echo across the cosmos for eons to come. Guided by the ethereal guardian of the Genesis engine, the crew of the HSS Athena embarked on a quest that transcended the boundaries of time and space. Across the vast expanse of the ancient warship, they encountered trials and challenges that tested their willpower, their unity, and their understanding of the cosmic forces that governed the universe. As they delved deeper into the mysteries of the Genesis engine, the crew found themselves confronted by visions of the past, echoes of long-forgotten civilizations and cataclysms that had shaped the galaxy. The artifact whispered of a time when empires rose and fell, of wars fought with weapons of unimaginable power, and of beings who sought to transcend the very fabric of reality. We are treading upon paths that few have dared to traverse, mused Dr. Lenara 
her eyes alight with a mixture of wonder and caution. The Genesis engine is a chronicle of the cosmos, a living record of the triumphs and failures of those who came before us. The crew navigated through chambers filled with stasis fields containing relics of lost civilizations, their technology gleaming with a brilliance that belied their ancient origins. The artifacts hummed with a power that resonated with the crew, a reminder of the fragile balance that governed the forces of creation and destruction. As they delved deeper into the labyrinthine depths of the warship, the crew encountered enigmas and puzzles that confounded their intellects. Holographic projections danced around them, displaying scenes from the dawn of time and the twilight of empires, each fragment a piece of a greater cosmic tapestry waiting to be woven. We are being tested, Captain Hayes remarked, her gaze fixed upon a shimmering portal that beckoned with an otherworldly allure. The Genesis engine demands that we prove ourselves worthy of its gifts, that we rise above our petty ambitions and embrace the unity of all sentient beings. With the Guardian as their guide, the crew traversed through the portal and emerged in a realm beyond comprehension, a dimension of pure energy and consciousness, where time and space melded into a canvas upon which the cosmos painted its symphony of silver existence. In the heart of this cosmic crucible, they encountered the trials of balance, a series of trials designed to challenge their moral fortitude, their resilience in the face of adversity, and their willingness to confront the shadows of their past. Each trial tested a different aspect of their being, pushing them to their limits and beyond. As the crew navigated through the trials of balance, they discovered truths about themselves and their place in the galaxy. Their fears, their hopes, their regrets, all laid bare before the enigmatic forces that judged their worthiness. And in the crucible of adversity, they found unity. The crew of the HSS Athena stood as a beacon of resilience and courage. Their bonds forged through trials that tested not only their individual strengths but also their collective spirit. As they emerged from the trials of balance, a profound sense of transformation washed over them. The crew of the HSS Athena had been tempered by the crucible of the Genesis engine, their resolve steeled, their purpose clear. They had proven themselves worthy of the ancient artifact's gifts, and now they stood ready to face the challenges that awaited them in the infinite expanse of the cosmos. The crew of the HSS Athena had become champions of balance, custodians of harmony, and guardians of the stars, a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity among the tapestry of the galaxy. The journey ahead promised challenges and trials yet to come, but they faced the unknown with courage, unity, and the wisdom of the ancients guiding their way. Having navigated the trials of balance and emerged transformed, the crew of the HSS Athena stood on the threshold of a new era, an era defined by unity, wisdom, and the harmonious balance of cosmic forces. Guided by the ethereal guardian of the Genesis engine, they had proven themselves worthy of the ancient artifact's gifts and earned the right to wield its power for the betterment of all sentient beings. As they emerged from the depths of the ancient warship, Bathed in the light of a thousand stars, the crew felt a sense of renewal and purpose coursing through their veins. The Genesis engine hummed with a resplendent energy, its luminescent core radiating with a brilliance that spoke of creation and renewal. We have been entrusted with a great responsibility, Captain Serena Hayes proclaimed, her voice resonating with the echoes of the cosmos. The Genesis engine is not merely a source of power, but a beacon of harmony that binds the galaxy together. It falls upon us to safeguard this balance and ensure that its light shines bright across the stars. The crew of the HSS Athena set a course for the heart of the Galactic Council, their resolve unwavering as they prepared to unveil the revelations they had gleaned from their journey through the depths of the ancient warship. Representatives from every corner of the cosmos awaited their arrival, their hopes and fears intertwined with the fate of the universe itself. As the crew descended upon the Nexus Chamber once more, a hush fell over the gathered dignitaries. The ethereal guardian of the Genesis engine materialized beside Captain Hayes, its presence a shimmering testament to the wisdom and power that resided within the artifact. We come bearing the gifts of the Genesis engine, Captain Hayes announced, her words ringing with clarity and purpose. It has shown us the path to harmony, to unity among the stars, and to the realization of a future founded on cooperation and respect. 
The Guardian spoke in a voice that resonated with the echoes of a thousand worlds, its words weaving a tapestry of cosmic truths that illuminated the hearts and minds of all who listened. The Genesis engine is a living testament to the balance that governs the cosmos, the Guardian intoned. Through unity and understanding, we can harness its power to transcend our differences, to embrace diversity, and to forge a future where all sentient beings are united in purpose and vision. The revelation sparked a chorus of awe and wonder among the assembled representatives, their hearts stirred by the promise of a galaxy united in harmony and cooperation. The ancient artifact had become a symbol of hope, a beacon of light that illuminated the path to a future where peace and understanding reigned supreme. And so, the crew of the HSS Athena, guided by the wisdom of the ancient guardian and the power of the Genesis engine, embarked on a new chapter in the annals of galactic history. Their journey had forged bonds that transcended species and planets, their resolve unbreakable in the face of the unknown. As they gazed upon the infinite expanse of the cosmos, the crew of the HS Athena knew that the path ahead would be fraught with challenges and trials, but they faced the future with courage, unity, and the unwavering belief that through harmony and cooperation, they could ascend to new heights of understanding and enlightenment. The ascension of harmony had begun, a saga of unity, wisdom and transcendence that would echo across the stars for millennia to come. And as the crew of the HSS Athena set sail once more into the boundless depths of space, they did so with the knowledge that they carried the light of the Genesis engine within them, a beacon of hope that shone bright in the eternal darkness of the cosmos. As the crew of the HSS Athena ventured forth into the vast expanse of space, their ship guided by the ethereal light of the Genesis engine, they embarked on a journey that would redefine the very fabric of the galaxy. The revelations unveiled within the Nexus Chamber had sparked a wave of unity and cooperation among the civilizations of the Galactic Council, their hearts and minds open to the promise of a future built on harmony and understanding. Through the guidance of the ancient guardian, and the wisdom of the Genesis engine, the crew traversed the stars, forging new alliances and fostering bonds of friendship across the cosmos. Their mission became a beacon of hope, a testament to the power of unity and the resilience of the indomitable human spirit. Amidst the swirling tapestry of nebulae and star clusters, the crew encountered worlds teeming with life, each civilization unique in its culture and beliefs. Through diplomacy and dialogue, they sought to bridge the divides that had once separated species and forge a future where cooperation and mutual respect reigned supreme. On the vibrant world of Nexar Prime, the crew met with the Avanti Confederacy, a race of scholars and poets known for their reverence for knowledge and art. Together, they explored the ancient ruins of a forgotten civilization, uncovering secrets that spoke of a shared heritage and a bond that transcended time and space. In the crystalline cities of Lumara Nime, the crew found solace among the Shalian Collective, a species of empathic beings attuned to the emotions and energies of the cosmos. Through their connection with the Shalians, the crew learned the power of empathy and compassion, forging bonds that strengthened their resolve in the face of adversity. And in the mechanical marvels of the Signian Enclave, a race of cybernetic beings whose minds melded with technology, the crew discovered the beauty of collaboration and innovation. Together, they worked to unlock the mysteries of the Genesis engine, harnessing its power to propel their ships to new heights of exploration and discovery. As they journeyed from world to world, the crew of the HSS Athena witnessed the echoes of unity reverberating through the galaxy. Species once divided by war and strife now stood united in common purpose, their differences celebrated as a testament to the richness and diversity of life among the stars. Through their efforts, the crew of the HSS Athena became champions of peace, emissaries of hope, and guardians of the burgeoning unity that bound the galaxy together. Their voyage was a testament to the triumph of cooperation over conflict, of understanding over ignorance, and of the enduring power of the human spirit to transcend the boundaries of the known and embrace the mysteries of the cosmos. And as they looked towards the infinite expanse of the universe, the crew of the HS Athena knew that their journey was far from over. The echoes of unity they had sown among the stars would continue to resonate for generations to come, 
shaping the destiny of the galaxy and illuminating the path to a future where all sentient beings walked hand in hand, united in purpose and vision. The saga of the HSS Athena had become a legend, a tale of courage, friendship, and the boundless potential of unity in a universe brimming with possibilities. And as they ventured forth into the unknown, their hearts filled with hope and their spirits lifted by the promise of a future where the echoes of unity would forever ring true. The HS Athena soared through the cosmic tapestry, its hull gleaming with the light of the Genesis engine, a beacon of unity and hope that echoed across the stars. The crew, guided by the wisdom of the ancient guardian and the bonds forged through their journey, continued their mission to unite civilizations, to unravel the mysteries of the universe and to uphold the balance that governed the cosmos. As they navigated through the vast expanse of space, the crew encountered challenges that tested their resolve and pushed the limits of their understanding. They confronted remnants of ancient conflicts, shadows of forgotten empires and enigmas that defied explanation, all while standing firm in their commitment to fostering harmony and cooperation among the diverse races of the galactic community. On the crystalline world of Elysium V, the crew encountered a civilization on the brink of extinction, a race of beings whose homeworld faced a cataclysmic event that threatened to extinguish all life. Through their unity and ingenuity, the crew worked tirelessly to aid the Elysians, utilizing the power of the Genesis engine to shield their planet from destruction and herald a new era of rebirth and renewal. In the depths of the Orion Nebula, the crew delved into the mysteries of a cosmic anomaly, a rift in the fabric of space-time that whispered of alternate realities and parallel universes. Through their exploration, they glimpsed echoes of civilizations that had risen and fallen in divergent timelines, their reflections serving as a reminder of the fragile balance that governed the cosmos. As they journeyed from realm to realm, the crew of the HSS Athena became heralds of light, emissaries of peace, and guardians of the unity that bound the galaxy together. Their legacy spread far and wide, inspiring other civilizations to embrace cooperation, compassion, and understanding as pillars of a harmonious future. Amidst the swirling nebulae and distant star systems, the crew found solace in the beauty and wonder of the cosmos, their hearts lifted by the infinite possibilities that lay beyond the horizon. They beheld the majesty of supernovae, danced in the shimmering lights of cosmic phenomena, and marveled at the intricacies of the universe, a testament to the boundless potential of life among the stars. And as they sailed through the eternal expanse of space, the crew of the HSS Athena knew that their journey was not just a mission, it was a legacy. A legacy of light that shone bright in the darkness, a legacy of unity that bridged the gaps between worlds, and a legacy of hope that echoed through the cosmos for generations to come. Their voyage had become a saga, an epic tale of courage, compassion, and the enduring power of unity to transcend boundaries and forge a future where all sentient beings walk together as one. The legacy of the HSS Athena would forever be etched in the annals of galactic history, a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity, the wisdom of the ancients, and the infinite possibilities that awaited among the stars. With the malevolent force vanquished and the galaxy once again bathed in the light of peace and unity, the Vexorian Human Alliance and their allies returned home as heroes. News of their victory spread like wildfire, inspiring hope and courage in the hearts of beings across the cosmos. The symphony of destiny they had played together resonated far and wide, a melody of triumph that echoed through the stars. In the aftermath of the Alliance's epic triumph, celebrations erupted on planets once gripped by fear and uncertainty. Festivals were held, songs of gratitude were sung, and monuments were raised in honor of the brave warriors who had stood together in the face of darkness. Captain Sarah Kane and the Vexorian High Council, their bonds of camaraderie stronger than ever, worked tirelessly to solidify the newfound peace and cooperation among the galaxy's disparate species. Together, they established a Council of Unity, a governing body where representatives from all corners of the galaxy could come together to forge a harmonious future for all. Under the Council's guidance, trade flourished, technology advanced, and cultural exchanges thrived. 
knitting the galaxy ever closer in a tapestry of shared knowledge and understanding. The lessons learned from the Alliance's trials and triumphs became the foundation upon which a future of peace and prosperity was built. As the years passed, the Alliance members continued to stand united, their voices raised not in song of battle, but in a chorus of progress and cooperation. Together, they explored the far reaches of the galaxy, encountering new civilizations and sharing the wisdom they had gained from their experiences. The Vexorians, humans and their allies, became known as emissaries of peace, their story passed down through the generations as a parable of courage, unity, and the enduring power of harmony. They were hailed as architects of a new age, where conflict was resolved through dialogue, differences were celebrated, and the galaxy prospered in the light of shared prosperity. And so, as the sun set on a galaxy united in harmony, the Alliance members looked to the future with optimism and hope, knowing that as long as they stood together, bound by the values of unity and cooperation, there was nothing they could not achieve. The symphony of destiny they had played together had woven a tapestry of peace and unity that would endure for all time, a testament to the boundless potential of beings when they worked together toward a common goal. And thus ends the tale of the Vexorian Human Alliance, a story of courage, friendship, and the transformative power of unity in the face of adversity. The galaxy stood as a testament to their legacy, a shining beacon of hope in a universe filled with endless possibilities.